Hey friends, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It and today we're going to make these super cute floral pins. So maybe you've seen these before and maybe you haven't but they are super easy to make. I made some recently for my daughters. They absolutely love them and have them like in a little vase in their rooms and so I just thought I'd show you real quick how easy these are to make and how they can be great little gifts whether it's um, party favors or even little teacher gifts for teachers to sit on their desk. But they are so cute so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, what you're gonna need are some fake flowers. So these are artificial flowers I got at Michael's. I will try my best to link these, but you can get artificial flowers even at Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, different stores like that. I ordered a big box of pins from Amazon. I will share the link to all the supplies in the description below this video. And then I also got some floral tape from Amazon. So I'll link this as well. This was a four pack and it kind of has different shades of green and even a brown, which I like because realistically, uh, you know, artificial flowers and plants in general have different shades of stems. And so I thought it'd be fun to have kind of different colors. And then I have my hot glue gun and some wire cutters. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm going to start by going ahead and cutting off the flowers that I want to use. And so I'm going to cut it off right at the base below. So you'll see most of the flowers kind of have leaves underneath them, these little green things underneath. I'm going to cut it right below that. Depending on how tough the wire is, where it is, you might need more heavy duty wire cutters. There we go. I brought my husband's like for real wire cutters. I had kind of like jewelry wire cutters for crafting so you might need some more heavy duty like actual tough wire cutters and so I cut it off real flat hopefully you can see that but you want it to be as flat as possible so let's go ahead and cut off the rest of the flowers that I want to use I, I know I want this one this one's not going to be very cute it's like a little bud so I'm going to get rid of the rest of the stem for now and I cut off some of these purple ones they might even pop off let's see sometimes it's hard to tell yeah, so that one kind of pops off. So sometimes the flowers are on there with these little plasticky stick kind of things. Hopefully you can see that. So we're going to try to cut that stick part off at the base. Oh, and that one was easy. Okay, so we have two. So a lot of flowers on artificial stems pop off like that, but you'll still want to go ahead and cut off the little plastic green tip. Now, the all the flower will kind of, if you take off this little base part, most likely all of these will just come apart. So leave the little part like that, the little fake leaves underneath. Don't take all the green off because you don't want all the little petals of the flower to fall apart. So now we have our flowers ready. Let's go ahead and get the pins out. Go ahead and take the lid off. We're not going to need the lid. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a touch of hot glue on top of the pin and then we're going to hold like this the bottom of the flower to it until it dries. So I have my hot glue gun. You want a pretty big spot. Let's do the purple one. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just smushing the big blob of hot glue into the flower. And really you might even want to like add some more around the edges, let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and get our pins. So I just have a big box of pins, grab some out. Go ahead and grab a pin, take the lid off. We do not need the lid. We're gonna use our hot glue gun to put a big blob of hot glue on top of the pin. Like so, you are just going to place the flower on top and turn to the side so hopefully you can see it. Just like this and let it, let it sit for a second. So you want to make sure it's really getting it set. Hopefully you can kind of see what's happening. Try not to turn it too much so the hot glue will dry. I'm going to hold it for a second and get the hot glue to set up a little bit so that we can move on. So all you're doing, guys, is, these are so easy. All you're doing is hot gluing these little flowers to the tops of the pins. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, hopefully you can see. Okay, as um, they're kind of drying, I'm just going to go ahead and set them in a mug that I have. 
so they can kind of sit a little bit upright for a period. If it's too, if the glue is too wet and you set it to the side, it is obviously just going to slide off to the side. So make sure it's kind of set up a little bit before you do that. We're going to move on to the next one. So once again, I'm just putting a big blob of glue on the pin, pushing the bottom of the flower into the blob of glue and just letting it set up for a second. So hot glue does dry really quickly, but it does need an initial period of really staying pretty still for it to really start to harden and not end up being too wobbly. So go ahead and give it the time it needs to kind of set up before you move on and set the pin to the side. Now that all of the flowers are glued onto the pins and the glue is dry, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it with the floral tape. And see, you can see right there, there's a big blob of glue. You do not need to worry if it looks a little bit messy because first of all, most people aren't gonna look underneath the flower, but if they do, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it with the floral tape to cover it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and, if there's little strings of hot glue, you can just kind of tear those off. But I'm gonna do this tape that kind of matches similar color to the leaves in the bottom. So the idea is that this would look like the stem, right? Okay, and if you wanted to just do a, a little dot of hot glue to hold the tape down, you can put a little dot of hot glue right there. Now obviously it will need to dry, so give it a second to dry. But it wouldn't be a bad idea to use hot glue or some kind of glue to kind of hold the beginning of the floral tape down. So give it a second to dry. And then you would just start wrapping the pin with the floral tape. The floral tape is kind of like, it's not overly sticky, but it does kind of stick to itself. So make sure that first dot is really dry. You're gonna make sure the top gets wrapped really well to cover up the glue. After that, you're gonna come down and start wrapping the base of the pin. And we can go back up and down a couple of times, so don't worry. I'm going to wrap all the way to where it's black, the very bottom of the pin. Okay, and then I'm going to start coming back up. So I'm going to have all the ends be at the very top. So you could end the tape at the bottom if you wanted to, but I only want one spot where I need to really make sure everything's attached super well. I don't want the tape coming undone near the bottom of the pin, especially since that's where you're going to be holding it when you're writing. Okay, go all the way back up to the top. If you have any other little blobs of glue that you need to cover up, you can even go ahead and like tear it off. And you can make sure it gets wrapped exactly the way you want. So I'm going to put a little dot of glue right here. This is the very end. I kind of just want to make sure that spot is super covered up. I'm going to wrap the tape around. Okay, I'm hot gluing it at the top again. To make sure it's super secure. And then we're gonna cut that little end off. So it looks really nice when the stem is about the same color as the leaves. You could do whatever color you want to if you get this multi set that I got. It's just nice to have, sometimes you'll be surprised. Sometimes the flowers on the bottom are darker green or lighter green. And so I like that this really matches. So then even the little end where the tape is, it doesn't really show because it's the same color as the leaves. So there we go, it looks super professional. That one is done. Let's go ahead and move on to another one. Okay, let's see. So. These are a little bit darker on the bottom. Let's see what like this tape would look like. That matches pretty well. This one might be too 
let's see. I think I'm gonna do the one that's a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I think that worked well. So like I said, sometimes you don't really have to use the hot glue, this tape is a little bit sticky, but I think it was nice to kind of start with a dot of hot glue at the bottom to really hold the tape on to make it look super professional. So I have a dot of hot glue down there, I'm pushing the tape into it and you just, like I said, give it a second to dry. Hot glue does take a second to cool off and really dry. So start the tape there, once it's cooled off, we're gonna wrap the pin all the way down to the tip. And remember, with this one, I wrapped it all the way down to where the black part starts. So covering all the silver right here, just like that. Okay, once that hot glue is cooled off, you can continue wrapping. wrap a couple times to kind of cover I had kind of a bigger blob so like I said some of the pins are gonna have bigger blobs if you went a little bit more crazy with the hot glue but it's definitely something that you can cover up okay now that we're going down the pin it's really easy to just kind of go down the pin Okay, when you get to the end, okay, I've covered all the silver. I'm going to start going back up. Now remember, if you should be able to, the hot glue is secure, but if for some reason these pins die and you've used them for a long time and you actually want to reuse the same flowers, you can just take it apart and pop the flower off with the hot glue and attach it to a new pin. That's why I went ahead and bought a bigger box of pins. My girls are always using pins to write in notebooks and diaries and homework and all that. And so I know these pins will get a lot of use. So we're just wrapping the base, covering all the rest of the hot glue spots. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit off. So if you can see, I kind of see like a bulge of hot glue underneath there. I'm gonna try to cover up real quick. Should put some more hot glue on it and then use the tape to kind of go around that area. We're gonna let that cool off. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the extra. Okay, that one looks good. You can see. Okay, friends, so I have officially finished wrapping all of the pins with floral tape. I just kind of wanted to show you real quick. They look so cute, but I love how some of them are different colors like we talked about. So I use different color floral tape. I really like the set of floral tape I got from Amazon. And that way it makes them look a little bit more realistic. I mean, I know they're artificial flowers, but artificial flowers and real flowers obviously have different color stems according to what kind of flower it is. And so I think it looks really cute to have some of the pins, which are supposed to be the stems, obviously different colors so that they look a little bit more real. So these are super cute to put in mugs mason jars anything like that to have them sitting as like a little bouquet Ta -da! hopefully you can see that um but they're cute in mugs mason jars i have individual little tiny vases that i have in my girls rooms with just one one kind of bigger flower in each one so if i can find something like that i bought mine a long time ago these little vases in a boutique and so if i can find them anything like it on amazon i will link it in the description below as well but if not, just know that you can get any vase, any little flower pot, ceramic flower pot, mug, um, jar, and they'll look super cute sitting in there. Okay, friends, so that's it. These make super cute little decorations. Obviously, you could buy flowers um, to coordinate whatever colors you're wanting if you're wanting them for decorations in a kid's room or whatever. But they also make super cute party favors, teacher gifts, birthday gifts, etc. And they're a great springtime or summertime craft to do with your kiddos. And don't forget, I will link all the supplies that I use in the description below this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye!